Robinson. Jesus loves you more than you will know. Well, well, well. Well, so we, we're both actors, so we both studied at Guildford School of Acting, um, not at the same time. And then our agent sent us to audition for the show. Um, the show had been going, I think, six, seven years before we joined. Um, and then, yeah, so we just came out like any other show uh, as, as an acting point of view. I didn't expect in October 2019 to still be with the show in 2022. Obviously, the pandemic has had an effect on that. Um, but there's something about the music, the songwriting and the story that we're telling, the story of uh, Paul and Art and their music, that it, it's just a joy to be part of and to, to tell this story every night to different audiences in different parts of the country and indeed across the world. So we document uh, their lives and their careers as ourselves in our own voices and then we sing in the style of Simon and Garfunkel. So it's more of a documentary musical than a tribute show. Uh, thankfully, there isn't any dancing, so it's... We're, we're excuse, excuse that. And um, well, we're both under 30 years old, aren't you? Is that true? I'm 31. You're but 31. You, well, I'm under 30, through. so um, they kind of be a bit beyond my time, uh, so to say. Although Paul Simon's work in Graceland was kind of, I listened to that growing up. Um, so I knew of Paul Simon. And then when I got sent through the set list, I realised how many songs I actually knew from Simon and Garfunkel, which is, I guess, a credit to them that their music is still going today and we're trying to keep that alive. So. I, I think I'd agree with that. My parents listened to their music and it was on, on the record player around the house when I was growing up. So I had an awareness of it. But again, I didn't quite know the extent of their back catalogue, which we which we share with the audiences every night. I think especially Bridge Over Jewel Water, like it was a best selling of 1970, 1971 and 1972. So to, to be able to sell that many that records, especially when you've got Elvis, the Beatles that were going on at that time as well. I think that shows how how well known and well loved Simon and Garfunkel were. Well, my hair until I got this job was normally a short back and sides. Um, uh, but the producer said to me, if you get the job, you'll have to go for a perm. Are you OK with that? So every six months I go along to the local salon where um, I'm sat in a chair and have my hair covered in peroxide and chemicals to give it the Art Garfunkel curl. Um, but yes, we, we, um, we have a similarity in look, it is, but the sound is more what's important for the show. Adam's guitar playing and his voice is very, very uh, practised and it's the style of, of uh, Paul Simons. And there's something about the way that I sing that the producer liked and thought he's close enough to Art Garfunkel to, um, to have a good shot at it. Um, I think with most duos, there's one, one, one voice in particular that takes the melody and then the other one takes the harmony, but especially with Paul Simon's writing, um, the earlier stuff like Bleecker Street, Leaves It Green, which are both uh, Simon and Garfunkel songs, the melody changes a lot. So we want the audience to not really know who's on, on the melody and we change and we change the melody and the harmony up quite a lot, um, which again is just such brilliant writing and wouldn't work with other duos. Mm. Um, I think that's what's so special about Simon and Garfunkel and probably the hardest thing for us to try and replicate was that's the Simon and Garfunkel sound. So a lot of the audience just want to close their eyes and be taken back to the first time they heard that. And that's just, the music does that yeah. alone. So we have um, a, a lot of responsibility to uh, uphold, I guess. We mentioned their, just their falling out and the, the splitting up of the act um, because you can't not mention it, but we don't dwell on it because we're celebrating their music rather than their fallout. Um, and we finished the show by coming back together and celebrating their Central Park concert, which was uh, a good 12 or 13 years after their initial split. There have been a couple of moments recently where we've seen, say, for example, a dad maybe in his 40s or 50s who's brought along their kid with them. And the parent is obviously loving the music for the, the purpose of, of enjoying the music, for the, the fact that they've appreciated it for so many years. But what's really exciting is then to see the teenager or the the nine-year-old who enjoys playing music or enjoys drumming or whatever then kind of seeing them light up at watching live music which is full of exciting rhythms and beats and lyrics and melodies and so on you really do start to see mm -hmm. the younger generation of musicians kind of having that spark lit which is really exciting we are in newport next week and we've also got dates in shandudno and uh where else are we going? Bracken. We're all, all over the oh, place. Yeah. And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson.
son Jesus loves you more than you will know Well, well, well God bless you, please, and Mrs. Robinson Heaven holds a place for those so We've got a drummer, a bass guitarist uh, and a lead guitarist who also plays piano So there's five of us on stage um, and we really try to recreate the sound and then add a little 21st century spin to it too. Yeah, and this show also goes to and does the West End quite frequently. So we have a brass band that come in for like the bigger venues and they're with us for act two. So it goes from five of us on stage to nine of us on stage. As soon as the, the music starts, we open with Sound of Silence. So that is kind of one of their biggest for me personally, one of the biggest songs as well. So that really brings us into into sync. But it's the getting used to the getting to the theater at one and waiting around, all that kind of drags a little bit. But then as soon as the music starts, even if we're tired or not in character, we have to be for sound of silence. So. And the music brings it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I put some contact lenses in, I tease the hair out, make it a little bit bigger than it currently is. And the costumes help. We recreate the look of the albums in the four different sets of costumes that we wear. 